Hi, welcome to a gentle dial yoga practice. My name is Kaylee. For today, we're going to start lying down on your back. So even if you don't happen to have a mat, this will be a practice that you can do just somewhere soft, hopefully. Feel free to bend the knees. In fact, I kind of encourage that to start off just to give the pelvis a chance to find its own natural alignment. Sometimes stretching the legs out feels really good for some folks. If that's the case for you, go for it. Otherwise, meet me with your knees bent, the soles of your feet firmly planted. We're not really pushing, but feel your feet. Maybe move them around a little bit until you find that alignment or that angle that just feels most stable for you. Let the eyes close down or soften your gaze to one spot. And then gradually shift your attention to your breathing. So you don't have to change how you're breathing. It might happen to shift a little bit as you bring more of your attention to the breath. But just start, get a little baseline. Notice where the breath moves really easily in your body. Also sending some awareness into the places where it feels a little stuck, a little tight, where you don't feel that sense of prana, our energy, our life force. Ideally, it's flowing through the entire body in a really deliberate pattern. And we're just bringing some attention to areas in your own physical body that feel spacious, that feel alive, where the prana is flowing smooth and bright. And not ignoring the pockets where that just doesn't quite seem to be the case right now. Just maybe bringing a little curiosity into those areas. It might be your shoulders, it might be your hips. Sometimes it's the jaw or the wrists. start to take just a gradually deepening approach to the breath. So as you inhale the next time, let your belly expand like you're filling up a balloon to about 80%. And then slowly exhale, letting your belly soften. Maybe you feel the hips release a little bit. So again, take a breath in, fill your belly up. This time, let the breath move into the ribs as well, stretching the chest gently. And then exhale, and maybe the hips and the chest relax. Let's take one more long inhale, fill up all the way down into your pelvis, all the way up through the underarms or the sides of your neck. And then open your mouth when you're ready, sigh it out. Reach your arms back up over your head, if you can bring your thumbs down right back behind your shoulders, totally okay if they don't touch. You might be up a little bit higher, that's fine. Start to push into your feet, stretching out through the underarms, lengthening your lower back so the tailbone is starting to slowly move away from the mat, but your hips are still down. Take one more big breath in as you stretch through the fingers. And then bring your arms to your side, lift your hips up away from the mat. It doesn't have to be a big, big gigantic bridge stretch. Just start to drive the feet down a little bit more powerfully. Press your palms down into the carpet or the mat or the floor next to you. Hold here and breathe those long inhales. Slow exhales. Try not to scrunch up the face or the jaw. We won't be here for a lot longer. Take one more nice big breath in and then slowly articulate bone by bone of your spine as you lower it down nice and easy. Reach your arms back over your head. Take a big breath in. And then this time, catch your right knee. Interlace your fingers around the right shin. We can straighten the left leg here since we've got one of those knees bent and then just pass that right knee side to side. You might even pass it using just the right hand, making almost like a little U shape, bringing that right knee in toward your chest, 
letting it drift away and then over and out toward the right side ribs. So if you can find a spot where it feels pretty good in the hip and then hold it there. So usually it's somewhere in between, between like angling the knee toward the underarm and angling the knee way out to the right. Once you've found that spot, interlace both of your fingers, both of your fingers, all of your fingers around your right shin, both hands. <laughs> and then breathe into that stretch. Take another long breath in as you hug your knee to your chest. And then start to straighten the right leg out. Move your fingers to the back of the right knee or the right thigh. The knee might not straighten all the way up, and that is fine. But let's point the right toes. Point the left toes as well. So send a little bit of energy through the fronts of your legs, to the tops of the feet. And then flex your feet, driving your heels away from you as you pull all of your toes back towards your knees. So both feet are flexed, pressing through your heels. We're going to start to slowly slide that left heel down until it lands right underneath the knee. Set the whole left foot down and then find your figure four, bringing that right ankle over the top of the left thigh. You can keep the left foot down if that feels like a good version of the stretch for today, or you can hug your knee or your thigh into your chest. Take about five rounds of breath here. Notice the sensation of the stretch. See if you can breathe into it. Notice any tendency you might have to force to really get invested in this idea that more is always better. And see if you can just be open to explore really grading this stretch so that it fits what feels right for you today? Where do you feel that flow of energy in your body? If you lifted the left knee into your chest, we're going to just find that figure four again by resetting the left foot down on the mat. Bring your arms or the carpet, bring your arms to your side. Press down into your palms and your elbows. Roll the shoulders down and together. And then let's lift the hips in that figure four stretch. So the hips come up, that right knee is pointing over to the right and forward. So draw that right knee out to the right side of the space in front of you. Take another long inhale. We're gonna keep this figure four, slowly lower the hips down, keep the legs in the same position. The right foot is gonna land over to your left. The sole of the left foot spins up and faces the right. You can reach your left fingers down and catch that right ankle if that feels good. And maybe you tee or cactus your right arm, nod your chin to the right, finding a pretty big twist here. Notice if you picked up tension in the ankles or the jaw. Notice if you can give yourself permission to make adjustments so that you feel like Again, that flow of energy is moving through. You always have the option to draw the right knee down toward your chest or to set up into a different version of a twist here. About three more slow, smooth, patient breaths. Give yourself one more round of breath. If you nodded your chin to the right, bring your head back to the center. Let's draw both of the knees into the chest, but reach behind your knees so knees are separated. Relax your feet as you draw circles with your knees. So one knee is going clockwise, the other knee is going counterclockwise. The feet separate and then they come back together with the knees. Let your tailbone tuck and untuck, releasing this movement, and then extend the legs up toward the ceiling. Again, the knees might be bent. Feet are at least hips distant. Circle out your ankles, spread your toes. Nice, slow movement through the feet. 
Switch the direction of your ankle circles. Stretching the soles of the feet as you spread your toes and pull them back toward your shins. And then we're going to drop that right leg long, hug the left knee in, interlacing your fingers around the left shin, finding a stretch. And then notice if it makes sense to pass that knee side to side. Maybe you bring the left palm onto the kneecap. We're just looking for where that like hip flexion feels best. So you can angle the knee out to the left, angle it straight toward the center of your chest, split the difference, make some little adjustments until you find that spot. Or you can bring the knee closest to your body without discomfort. And once you find that, reconnect that interlace around your shin and breathe. When you're ready, stretch the left leg up, moving your fingers to the back of the knee. Let's point both feet here. So really point out through your feet. You should feel a stretch in the front of the shins. Maybe even feel a stretch in the front of the foot. And then we do the opposite. Flex your feet, spread and curl your toes back toward your knees. We're stretching the plantar fascia, the Achilles tendon, the hamstring and the calf here. Let's keep the feet flexed. Right heel is pushing down. We're gonna slowly start to bend the right knee as we slide that right heel until it lands underneath your knee and then find your figure four, setting your left ankle over the top of the right thigh. And this is the place where some days or some bodies, this is the right place to be. Breathe into it, feel into it. Some folks, some days, might want to reach between the legs and catch the right thigh or the right knee or shin. Just see if you can connect to the sensations of your breath. Maybe you close your eyes to really dive into the stretch. To keep our figure four. If your right foot is off of the floor, go ahead and reset that right foot down. This time as you bring your arms to your side, bend your elbows, bring your elbows out away from your body about 45 degrees. So the forearms are perpendicular with the ground. Forearms are parallel to each other. Your palms are facing inward. Make fists with your hands. And then before you lift your hips, push the elbows down into the mat or the carpet to light up the muscles right alongside the back of your ribs, the side back of your ribs. So it's like underneath the underarm. Press the elbows down, keep the lats engaged as you lift your hips away from the mat. Keep letting that left knee drift away from you. And notice if this feels a little bit different than it did on the other side, right? We're using more of the back. We're using the lap muscles. They're huge muscles on the back, really supportive. And they work with the glutes to keep the backside of the body strong. Take another breath in. It's a slow release, lowering your tailbone last, keeping that figure four as you let your left foot float down to the right. The sole of the right foot opens to the left, and then you can tee or cactus your left arm. Do what feels most comfortable for your neck here. Maybe your nose points straight up. Maybe you tip your chin to the left. It feels like a supportive option to reach the right fingers for the left ankle and kind of use that hand to hold the leg in place. Go for it. And as soon as you find whatever version of this stretch feels right for you today, bring your breath back to the front and center of your mind. If 
Give yourself one more nice slow inhale, filling all the way up, breathing down into your pelvis and your lower back. As you exhale, release. We're gonna work all the way onto the belly. Take your time. So use the muscles to move in a way that feels skillful and supportive. And then when you land on your belly, come into Sphinx Pose, bringing your elbows down underneath your shoulders. Widen out the distance between your feet. Let's press the elbows down and then pull back toward your hips. Again, feeling these muscles right here on the side of the rib cage, more toward the back side of your torso. Lengthen through the sides of the neck. Maybe you start to tip the chin up a little bit. Take a breath in as you stretch open through your throat. And then slowly lower all the way down. Stack your forearms or your palms to make a little pillow for your forehead. Take a few breaths here, letting your back relax, letting your hips melt down into the mat. to lift the head back up, bring your legs together. I'm gonna do a quad stretch before we wrap things up today. So let's keep the left forearm across the top, right underneath your chest. So I keep using the term mat because I'm on one, but you could be on the carpet. Left forearm is just right across the chest. Bend your right knee. You can stay there, pressing your hips down. Maybe you lift the right knee a little bit. Stay there or reach the right hand back and catch the foot. Once you find the foot, you might start to drop the head back down, coming onto your chin or your forehead. Gently creating a sense of length in the front of the right hip and thigh. And see if you can keep the lower back long. So instead of dumping into the low back here, we're finding space in the lumbar spine and really targeting the stretch into the front of the right thigh and the right hip flexors. You can go ahead and point your right toes. So we're stretching out that whole front line from the top of the right foot and the front of the right ankle and shin up into the patellar tendon, that tendon that goes across the top of the knee all the way up the front of the thigh, into the hip flexors, maybe even into the psoas a little bit here. And then breathe in as slowly as you can. Start to release that stretch. Relax the right leg completely. Drop the head down. Pause and breathe. Feel the rebound sensations in that right leg. When you're ready, you can set it up on the left. The longer I practice, the more time I like to spend between the poses. It's not an excessively long amount of time, in my opinion, but a full round of breath after you release the stretch on one side before you dig into it on the other. It's a really helpful way to signal to the nervous system that it's safe, to signal to the connective tissue and the muscular tissue that you're not going to yank it around from side to side through these gigantic, maybe full range of motion stretches that we're doing without a moment for your body to metabolize and come back to that stable midpoint. You close the eyes and trace with your mind's eye that line of energy from really the top of the left big toe all the way up the front side of the foot, the front of the ankle, the shin. Tracing that stretch across the front of the knee through the patellar tendon into the front of the thigh, up the quads, into the front side of your left hip, Maybe even the lower belly. 
Take one more nice long inhale. And then as slowly as you can, release the stretch. Relax everything down through the center and take at least one long breath. From here, we're going to work our way slowly to a child's pose. So tuck the toes under. Engage your abdominals. Bring your hands right underneath your shoulders. Press down to lift your chest up. And then slowly, keeping the toes tucked, push your hips back toward your heels. Traction your arms forward. Crawl the fingertips forward. Keep the elbows lifted. Keep the underarms lengthening as you pull the hips back. Pull back, back, back through the hips. And pull forward, forward, forward through your fingers. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, work your way into either a seated position or Shavasana. This will end practice in some kind of resting, grounding pose. That could be in a seat like I'm choosing for right now, especially if you have something to get right back into, or Shavasana if you're heading into a little bit of a longer break or a longer transition. See if you can settle yourself into whatever position or posture you've chosen and find that sense of ease in your body. Check back in with the flow of prana, those lines of energy, those channels of energy that flow. Acknowledging the sense of spaciousness in areas that you find it. Maybe giving like a friendly nod of curiosity or at least acceptance for right now to pockets in the body that feel a little tight. Maybe you're experiencing some pain today, discomfort. See if you can just unhook from the need to fix that for right now and allow yourself to be. Stay here for about 40 seconds together. Nothing to do but breathe. If you'd like to close your practice in a seat and start to work your way there if you're not already. You're welcome to stay on your back as well and kind of linger longer in Shavasana. When and if you feel ready, let's reach the arms out to the side and then up overhead as you sip in a big breath interlace your fingers flip your palms over your head stretch 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 and then let it all go thank you for sharing some energy some time today keep taking good care of yourself i hope to see you again soon